Oi, mate. I see you looking at me there, mate. It's time to smoke a fucking pipe. Time to smoke a bloody pipe. Mate. I've been smoking these pipes all day, mate. All bloody day. It's time to smoke. It's time to smoke. Oh, fuck. I just blew out all the shit. Traditional British hairstyle. Let me use this special comb. I have a special comb, see? Comb your hair, make it look nice. Ah! It's time to use a bloody knife to cut your throat! This knife right here, me, you can do a lot of damage. You know... <laughs> you know, guns are cool. But this knife right here and me, we could do a lot of damage together. I could do a lot of damage with this knife. And it's legal to have. I'm not breaking the law by owning this knife. If I see any KKK members, not Muslim immigrants. When I have this knife, I have power. And then I'll kill myself. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm feeling a little bit stressed out right now. London is gonna be 80% Muslim soon. And to them I say, Doctor Who, keep calm and use your magic screwdriver. That's a Doctor Who reference. So if you're not a Doctor Who fan, you might want to shut this video off right now. Any Doctor, who's my favorite? The fourth Doctor. Played by... Skippy Doolittle. Played by Skippy Jackson. Fourth Doctor. And the best part about Doctor Who is that each Doctor has his own version of the magic screwdriver. And this is sort of like a magic wand that he points to change history, to change time travel. You use your magic screwdriver. And that's about it. You put on a pea coat and a scarf. Hold on a second. Let me get ready for Doctor Who. Now you're a nice fag. And anyone can come up to you and just pull on this, and you'll be Slave Boy Fag in the streets of London, England. Yes, sir. I'm Slave Boy Fag. Would you like to take over my country, sir? Please, would you like to grub my women and go poo in the streets? Yes, sir! Fucking fag Joe. Really like Joe Rogan the fag. Let's make this extra gay. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the doctor. I'm Doctor Who. <laughs> doctor Who wouldn't be holding a knife. He wouldn't be ready. For combat. This is an extreme combat knife. I'm ready for Hogwarts Academy. As a male with no job and no prospects, no career, no nothing, it's important to be dressed fashionably and to present yourself well with good fashion. A good hat like this to make your head look like a big punching bag. <laughs> you want people to be ready to hit you, so you want to make your head, you want to isolate your head with these tight noose scarves. Okay? And that's gonna sort of isolate your head like this and get you ready for beatings. You want some big cans. <laughs> and you want to make yourself look like this. And now you're ready for the streets. You can go use mass transit in whatever city you want. And nobody's really gonna bother you. Okay? You don't want to display too much masculinity. You want to cross your legs. Down. Ow, fuck. And this is how you sort of be a man. I wonder if my girlfriend's cheating on me right now. I hope she's okay. Just like that. Practice that. What should I make? What should I cook for my girlfriend when she gets home from work? My girlfriend has a job, but I don't have a job. What's up with that? A lot of questions in the modern age make you go, hmm. And there's not really much answer for them. Except for... There's not much standing between you and total spiritual annihilation. That's you. That's what you deserve. Let's make you pretty. 
There you go. Now you've got chapstick on. Now your little lips won't be hurt. We're not going to hurt your little lips, are you? Mm, no. Mommy, my lips hurt. It's cold outside. I need a scarf. Die. My lips are getting chapped. I'm 28. <laughs>